480 volt coming in, 30 horsepower connects right here. The rest of your terminals are right down here. And I have the push buttons assigned like you laid them out. Off on switch, that switches off all the power to it. I did have to modify your wiring diagram for this. There was one small thing and I'll send you an update on it. And we have your push button station with a about 20 foot cord on it. And so here is your low temperature, high temperature, and that's the on off relay. And so I can hit the green button, contactor pulls in, red button, it drops out. And I have these to simulate your um, over and unders. So start, I press one of them, it drops out. And stop, whoops, start. I press the other one, it drops out. And then we have your A off and B. So A is gonna be this one on terminal five and six. And then B is on seven and eight. Gotta get that out of the way. And now we're into these. So first momentary, we can press all these. I'm gonna start on the left and work my way to the right. So on terminals 18 and 19, there's that one. On 20 and 21, there's that one. On 22 and 23, there's that one. 24 and 25, there's that one. 26 and 27, there's that one. And 28 and 29 is that one. And then we have the maintained ones directly below it. So I'm gonna start on the left again. And A, B, middle switch, A, oops, A, B, and right one, A, B. And also you can start it right here. So I'm gonna press the green button. And then we have an e-stop on the front. Press it again. Even if you press it there, our over temp still work. And finally, we have your flow meter wiring. And that is on 12 and 13. We're feeding 24. I didn't wire light to that one. But voltmeter going 12. And 13, we have 24 volts. You also have power on 14 and 16. And then 15 and 17 on your diagram, they just come in and out, so there's nothing connected to either side of those. Click here for other helpful control panel tips.